tell the truth all the time with compassion. The key word in this is compassion. These are the eight most powerful words I think that there are out there and they have such a big impact or they can have such a big impact on people's lives. I've always prided myself with being the person who I have no filter. I am me straight up just the way I am. However, in the past, I may have told the truth all the time, not necessarily with compassion to the point that it can have hurt another person. And that's not cool. So I want to talk about this one because it's a big one that I'm still learning to master. It's not a hundred percent kind of habit. I'll catch myself off guard when I'm sharing a truth uh, and have to not backtrack, but then tweak, consciously tweak what I'm wanting to say so that it can land with compassion. And uh it's been a big learning for me. So why, that's why I want to talk about today. This is only a short one, but I think it's really important. I first learned about the adding the compassion part on the end from one of my mentors, David T.S. Wood. Cool bloke, crazy Canadian, and challenges me the most. He really does. He's a shit. I love him, but at the same time, he just challenges me the most. And this is one that I've chosen to integrate into my life because I know the impact. I know the impact when someone shares a truth with me in a compassionate way. Uh, And absolutely, I have stormed my way through life, the majority of my life, and except for the last few years, I've really taken note of how I show up and still being me 100%. And I'm big on telling the truth, but learning how to find my range and be able to share the same message in a way that it can be received in, in a more caring way. So you know, I, I Googled for fun, I Googled the, well, not for fun, but I, I Googled the, what the definition of compassion is. And it says it's a strong feeling of sympathy and sadness for the suffering or bad luck of others and a wish to help them. So it's kind of like, for me, I take that as uh, I've got to deliver something that necessarily isn't going to be something that they want to hear sometimes, but having the care that I'm, I'm wanting to share it in a way to help them and not have them feel a pain through it. Although we know that in life, sometimes the truth just hurts. Uh, another definition I found was that the compassion is to recognize the suffering of others and to then take action to help them. Compassion embodies a tangible expression of love for those who are suffering. So if I'm wanting to tell the truth all the time with compassion, It takes me stopping and checking in first. And, you know, I've talked in previous podcasts about from when you you speak from your heart, you speak your truth. When you speak from your head, you'll just fire off. It's more reactive, more than responsive. So when I take the time to stop, breathe, and share the truth I need to share from my heart, or I choose to share from my heart, it lands differently because I'm able to do it with like telling the truth all the time with compassion versus Jen just, you know, being reactive and sharing my truth, but not in a way that it's done with love and care. So I just wanted to throw this out here today. Have I sorted this one out completely in my life yet? No, it is something that I really consciously focus on in my life and that's the healthy life hack for today is I challenge you to do the same think about bringing those words write them in and put them on a little card or something put them in your wallet have it around you uh, tell the truth all the time with compassion and see how it goes for other people because at the end of the day if we've got to deliver any anything <laughs> any information our truth um I believe it, it's just a, a cooler thing to do on this planet to do it with care. So that's a healthy life hack. Have fun playing with that one. It's like I say, I'm still working consciously on it, but it's one that I really know the value in doing for me. Check in next episode when I'm going to be talking all about the acidic and alkaline in our body, what it is, what it all means and how it shows up and how we can bring our body back into balance.